Right out, Sweeterham GCB. Can buy or buy buy. Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Wee Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Right Out and Sweeterham Good Class Bungalow or GCB. What are GCB? Are they worth buying? How well are they performing to date? Lastly, what are some of the reasons why high net worth individuals are attracted to them? With that, let's go straight into the discussion. Firstly, let me define what is good glass bungalow or commonly referred as GCB. They are the most prestigious form of lender housing in Singapore. They can be found only in 39 residential areas designated as GCB areas by URA. They must have a land size of more than 14,000 square meter or 15,000 square feet. They can be mostly found in District 10 and 11. They have a maximum building height of two story and not more than 40% of the land area can be used to build the bungalow. The remaining 60% must be used for open space. Only Singaporeans are allowed to own a GCB. Foreigners and PR are not eligible unless with approval from SLA, Land Dueling Approval Unit. There are about 2,800 GCB left in Singapore. Most of the owners are professionals, high net worth individuals, CEO, and Taukes. In today's video, I did my usual morning run in this GCB area. I'm no stranger to GCB. I think I have run in most of the GCB area before. They are very shady, especially in the morning. Hence, it's good to run early. However, the road and terrain can be a little challenging for novice runners. So try to avoid them if you do not want to get hurt. Anyway, this is a transaction for the ride out area since 1999. Take note, I have excluded the house condition in my analysis. So please interpret the data at your own discretion. Anyway, the purpose are to find out how much have they increased in prices over the years. What we can see is that prices have been creeping up since 1999 from a low of $396 per square feet with a land area of 13,000 square feet. The most recent transaction was for the GCB that measured 22,000 square feet. It was sold for 25 million or 1166 PSF. This means that prices have increased by 300% in the past 20 years. Amazing return, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm curious that someone has paid a cool 92 million for 73,000 square feet of prime land. The current house is a mega size GCB. If you drive along right out road, I'm very sure you wouldn't miss it. Take note, the latest transaction fall back to 2019 which may not be reflective of today's prices. Therefore, let me further study the performance of the nearby Sweeterham GCB area too. For the Sweeterham GCB area, there is slightly more transactions. Let me average out the PSF for transactions that took place most recently and compare them 20 years ago just to get some sense in terms of prices. For the latest two transactions that took place in 2021, their average PSF is about 1,700 PSF. For the GCB, there is about 15,000 to 18,000 square feet. This is in comparison to GCB they are transacted in 2002. Their average PSF was only 420 per square feet. This means that GCB prices in Sweeterham have appreciated about 400% in the past 20 years. Some of them may have been rebuilt and this will cost more. But in general, for both right out and Sweeterham, the average increase is about 300 to 400% since the early 2000s. This means that prices of GCB has increased by 150 to 200% in just 10 years. Here, will GCB prices continue to soar? Well, let's take a look here. If you are still wondering if GCB prices are hovering around 1,700 plus per square feet, you are wrong. Let me share with you the most expensive GCB in terms of per square feet that has been transacted to date. This 32,000 square feet GCB along Nassim Road was apparently sold for 128 million or 4,000 per square feet. When I'm flying my helicopter over Nassim, I realize that this is not even brand new. This house is ripe for redevelopment. Anyway, the buyer is the wife of Nanofilm Technologies founder. Nanofilm Technologies was listed on the Singapore exchange and has a market capitalization of about 3.3 billion in 2021. 
what interests me is the seller of the Nassim Road GCB. Is business women, We Sui Hong, or the younger sister of billionaire businessman We Hong Leong. She had paid 30.3 million or 942 per square feet for the site back in 2006. This means she made a cool 98 million in 17 years or the whopping 5.8% analyzed return. This only shows that GCB are highly sought after and buyers are willing to pay a premium. Likewise, if you are an owner living in the GCB, your asset price will always increase over time. In conclusion, GCB are in limited numbers in Singapore. This goes the same for landed properties. I mentioned before that landed properties are still the preferred choice for capital appreciation, provided you can afford it. It has never been cheap and will never be in the near future. In my opinion, GCB will continue to hold its value very well due to its limited supply, its freehold tenure, stable government, vibrant economy, and most importantly, its safe environment, which I will elaborate more on it later. Some parting words regarding the right out road debate. Don't mind, let me share my opinions. Firstly, when Mr. Shamogan was investigated by CPIB, I'm very happy. This is because even a law minister, and some say the most fearsome minister in parliament, was invited by the CPIB to Lim Kopi. This speaks a lot of volume regarding the rule of law in Singapore and the integrity of the system. Whereas in other countries, such cases will already be swept under the carpet. Secondly, if you watch his speech in Parliament, let me replay a small part for you. I have lived in a HDB flat, rental flat, three-room flat, five-room flat, condominium, semi-detached, bungalows, GCBs, before I moved to Redoubt. He mentioned he stayed in a three-room HDB rental flat in Block 3 Gimmo before. This means he's not born with a silver spoon. He worked his way up. This shows that meritocracy applies in Singapore. If you are good, you move up. It's that simple. Here, I think Mr. Shamogan has contributed his fair share to Singapore and Singaporeans. He has maintained a high degree of law and order in Singapore. This speaks volume in terms of safety in Singapore. This is another reason why GCB prices are always trending upwards. Buyers feel safe and secure parking their wealth here. That is why whenever I do my run in the GCB area, I have never worried about my own safety. By the way, do you know a majority of the GCB doesn't even have guards? Those that have Gurkha guards are mainly for senior politicians. On another note, I watched the parliamentary speech and would like to share what Minister for Foreign Affairs, Mr. Vivian Bakashina, had to say regarding CPIB? I think it sent a very strong message on corruption in Singapore. It just shows you the thoroughness in which this investigation was conducted. I assume the vast majority of you here have never had the privilege of an interrogation by CPIB. I let me assure all of you it is a most uncomfortable, invasive, intrusive, thorough process. And I don't wish it upon any of you. Here, I hope you have enjoyed my video and hope to see you soon during my morning run in the GCB area.